What's up guys, uh, welcome back, this is your boy again, Leave it's Slim, how are you guys doing, welcome to another crazy video, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, hope you guys are doing okay, and uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, issues today, uh, entertainment, relationship, uh, politics, and so many other stuff as well, so make sure you leave your comment below and uh, invite your loved ones, subscribe guys, and uh, click the bell notification to get updates, Anytime, any day I upload. But firstly, let's listen to this our friend, our Uganda friend, begging Nigeria guys to leave their girls alone. Nigerian men leave our I just had to uh, replay that again. But the honest truth is that uh, on behalf of all Nigerian men, I think I can speak for us. Hmm? We will never leave your girls alone. In fact, the more you tell us to leave your girls alone, the more we're going to apply more effort vigorously going after your girls so it's impossible you're not gonna leave your girls alone guys uh, so this guy i think you should outdo nigerians maybe your girls will start looking at you and do us now for whatever we are doing then uh, let's talk about our uh, david do david do was built to perform you know built to compose the song for FIFA 2022, I know that artist. He was paid handsomely according to the news. And you know what David Way is going through currently with the loss of his son. But he just confirmed. He just confirmed that he will be performing at the handy ceremony, closing ceremony of uh, FIFA World Cup. According to one of his friends, T uh, Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, sorry, he said, so happy my bro David O confirmed he will be performing at the World Cup closing ceremony. Can't wait to see him here. That's coming from uh, David O. And in case you are wondering who is this guy, Stephen is a very, uh, I don't know what his job, but it's quite famous for David O to be hanging out with him. You know, he's famous and rich. And maybe got some little bit of uh, influence. Uh, then there's a picture of uh, himself and David O, even on David O's page as well. So it's somebody that we tell you that, okay, David O is doing this, and really David O is doing it. So it's good to see David O is finally coming back from the closet and uh, know about to perform. I don't know how, how fans will react to this, but let me read you one comment coming from Daniel Reagan. Daniel Riga said, David will be performing at the World Cup closing ceremony, reportedly. Glad he's feeling better, but I don't think that's a smart decision. Since he's already pos postponed this away festival for by one year, he should stand by his decision and decline any offer till next year. No offense. And the guy is saying that uh, David Doe shouldn't perform. He should decline any offer till next year. <laughs> Hope you saw David Doe recently with, uh, at, his, uh, at his uncle inauguration. Hope you guys saw him. He was looking good and okay. He has already moved on. Although he has not moved on, but he's fine. He's fine. And David Doe waiting to perform till next year, I think is very very too long we should go back to what he's doing to what he loves doing and again this fifa world cup he was already in that process he was already built to perform he was already everything was sorted out already so come on man he just have to this work it's like you are telling a father not to go to work well, two weeks after he lost his son, he will get sacked now. Or because David is a new musician. And the real guy is saying he shouldn't 
perform anywhere thing else there. That is so 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 very uh very hard on the video now. He should go on and perform. There's nothing wrong with him performing. Then let's check out a really like serious discussion concerning uh Lagos State Governor Sawo Olu. A man is uh 27 years old. He is assuming, claiming that Lagos State Governor Sawo Olu is his dad. If you check the two pictures, of course, you can see the resemblance. The head look the same. <laughs> okay, what else again? I think the, 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 the cheekbones almost uh, look the same. And the eyes as well almost look the same. But that is not enough to, to uh, determine paternity. According to the news, they said, uh, according to the news, it was, uh, according to the lawyer, he said, he wanted DNA test to prove his claim and called on the Lagos State Governor to waive his immunity, to agree to a paternity test. His lawyer, J.O. Martins, prayed the court to, comp to compel Sawolu to acknowledge and accord the climate to all the rights of his son. He also urged the court to adjourn the hearing to January 17 to enable the defender to carry out a DNA test. Mr. Martin stated that Temper Law Firm, representing the Lagos gov uh, governor, has filed a motion to strike out the matter because the governor was not ready to waive his immunity. We are expecting that he will do that if indeed he is sure that he is not the father of the climate. But unfortunately, he invoked his immunity to say he is immune against lawsuit and he is not ready to waive it, he explained. Upon that, they brought the application that the court should not hear the matter. The court should strike out the matter that is coming from uh, the lawyer of. Uh, the guy and according to the guy he said i am 100 percent sure that i am the son of governor Sawolo. i just want to see the man sir as my father emmanuel that's the guy's name he also said he said he submitted a 19 paragraph statement that claimed Sawolo was a star of a company operating in Delta State from 1994 to 1995, stating that he impregnated his mother in 1994, adding that his mother lost contact with him when relocated from Wari. And according to Moses, his mother told him a Yoruba man known as Jedi Sawo Olu is his biological father. Following his uh, repeated inquiry about the identity of his father, he said when he realized that the person mentioned by his mother has almost exact resemblance of the Lagos State Governor, he tried unsuccessfully to contact Mr. Sawolu. After several failed attempts, he de decided to file a lawsuit. He told the court of the he told the court of the hardship he endured. Having to, raise, uh, having to be raised alone by his poor mother without financial assistance from Shaul. Okay, let me be completely honest, guys. I know when someone becomes successful as family, you know, is living well, it's really, really hard to see people pumping off from nowhere claiming to be your uh, claiming to be your child. It's extremely hard, and because he has occurred severally. And many of all those occurrences have turned out to be false. I know no big man will want to take any DNA test. No big man will want to take any DNA because they believe that, oh, that because are they famous now, because they are getting money, that's why this boy will come like this. But if you know as a father, of course, if me, eh, for instance, he, he, I'm just saying, if someone will look or any man out there know that, they are the men so 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 woman, so 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 yes, they can remember it. They can remember meeting that particular woman years ago. Then I think they should have a second look. 
But if you check out the woman, you, have, you don't know this woman from nowhere. She doesn't have proof that you guys have met. Then there's no need for you to take any DNA test. But in your heart, a man should know now. You cannot deceive yourself. You can deceive other people, but you cannot deceive yourself. In your heart, if you should know that you actually went out with someone, you have met that person before, you had an intercourse with that person, you should know in your heart. And if there's any possibility that you have met with that person years ago and there's a child, that person is claiming, then I think you should do a DNA test if you can afford it. Do a DNA test. No, no child wants to be alone. There are so many bastards out there. Their fathers are somewhere living happily, but they will never know. There are so many men that will die not knowing that they have like 20 children outside. Yeah, it happens like that. It happens like that. Well, I would just say you are a big man. And if you know that you, you have ever worked in such a place and you had a relationship with such a woman, just try. You are a man now. Just try. Hmm? Just try. For this guy to be going to court, <laughs> you should know that uh, it seems like the guy is quite sure, like 50% sure. Because ordinarily, someone will, someone will just claim, but not sure. You know, false statement. Well, guys, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Eshawo Olu should do the, the test or not? We have a lot of uh, marriage talk here, guys. Mm -hmm. I have about uh, five marriage advice coming from Nigerians. And, I want, and uh, we're going to look into all those marriage advices. And uh, But firstly, let's check out Speed Dalitin. Speed Dalitin is not happy that uh, DJ Copy has already found uh, a husband. And uh, he made a video recently. This is what he has to say. DJ Copy. And they say they don't use a Rolex watch to carry you. All the sign where I don't give you, you still go end up with another guy. You don't end up with me. I hope it's for love. I hope you married for love. I hope you don't marry due to peer pressure from your daddy. You know? Because as African now, now the eldest sister supposed to find a husband first. So for a woman to find a permanent somebody. You feel me? That is up there. The older you get, the less and less and less guys check you. Dereren deng deng, gimme, huh? Dereren. Honestly, that this guy don't travel, go abroad, they still look the same way he left Nigeria. Like, you know, that's a change. His face did the same. Like, uh, people who travel, go abroad, they fresh. But you, they travel, go abroad, still look the same way. <laughs> A big up though, what was he even expecting? Was he expecting uh, uh, the DJ copy to come for uh, a man that uh, that talks anyhow, that sleeps with uh, many, many Asha? When, whenever he's in Nigeria, the only thing he, he, he does is to go around sleeping with girls. So he was expecting DJ copy. Look your way, you are on serious, uh, speedy, speedy. Then let's talk about the marriages. I'm just going to read through uh, some marriage uh, advices. Firstly, this lady said, Dear man, once she doesn't see you as a lord, master, and savior, don't settle with her because everyone protects their savior. No one will be in a war and harm their savior. She will protect and care for her savior because her life depends on her savior. Once you see her comment every year claiming her husband can never be a master, savior and lord, please do your, do, do your sim simple self a favor and leave her alone. Allow her search Till she finds that savior. Okay, this one is coming from uh, from a lady. A lady give me that advice that uh, you must check if that uh, man, a woman who doesn't take a man as a personal lord and savior, no man should marry that woman. Can you imagine? Then another guy said, get married on time. Once you cross 25 to 30 and reach a certain age, 
you become aware you become you become way too picky about things too mature to do something without thinking about every angles and it becomes very difficult for you to leave your comfort zone for anyone and getting married becomes very hard okay 30 once you are above 30 getting married becomes really difficult for you because you become way too picky on some uh, many many stuff and uh, this guy said until you have a sustainable job don't marry even if she says she will manage it is set up she will later frustrate you okay then Perry, big brother Niger housemate, former big brother husband, said, Marriage is his scam. Everyone has a bad attitude. Seems like it is because the marriage we admire most are the ones breaking. I mean, even Paul advised the unmarried to stay single. The same ones shouting, It's not, are the same ones who believe there's a right person for you. No, there isn't. There are compatible persons for everyone do. It still is calm. Why marry only to end up in divorce and be single all the way again? In heaven you won't find in heaven you won't have a wife or a husband for the rest of eternity. Love isn't a scam though. Well love is a scam. Perez is above 30. Now is too picky. He's looking at every angle. Then if they say, okay, married and uh, very, very early. What if you don't have a job? Will you marry? A woman will tell you, oh, she will manage, but she will later frustrate you. I read all those marriage uh, advices out uh, just to show you how complicated they can be. This one with his own advice. This one with his own advice. With this one with his own advice. This one with his own advice contradicting each other. Somebody tell you that if a woman does not see her husband as a lord and personal savior, you should not marry that woman. Contradicting each other. If you are this type, the whole, the whole, the whole reason why I'm bringing out this guy is that if you are this type, that look at the internet to get married advices, sorry for you. You'll be confused all your life. I'm just being honest too. Sorry for you. You should do not look into your situation. Think about a way out. Think about how to handle your own issue. Think yourself. Then uh, you might not be able to get it right. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching the boy Gary Adam Sling. I'm still going to catch you on my next video. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Bye for now.